Recording. Well, Dookie, it's come that time of year where it starts getting cold. Well, we're back though. <laughs> well, we've got the cold front coming in and we're going to have our first freeze of the year. Not really looking forward to that. I was hoping that this weather change would hold off until the track day I'm going to next week. Or this weekend. But, you know, counting for the weather to, counting on the weather to cooperate that's kind of wishful thinking I think sometimes let's see I don't know if you saw her but her mouth opened up she was kind of excited well I don't have a huge amount to talk about other than, you know, just the weather, you know, we got the sun, you know, it's doing its its thing. We're doing our, our thing as far as relationships to the sun and the curvature of the earth, etc. And we just got to deal with the changing of the seasons. Uh, the S model, sorry, I'm dealing with like 20 mile an hour wind here probably hear it, and I apologize for that. The S model 470 or Stroker Big Boar is moving right along. I'm trying to keep those tires off of the asphalt as much as possible, but much to my dismay, it seems like I, I have to use it on that to continue the initial break-in on it. We're looking at trying to get a hundred miles on it so I can, you know, and some people might think this is wasteful, but I like to do a hundred mile oil change on a full bearing setup. I did an uh, oil change after the original riding session of about 30 minutes. And that, that was okay. That was fine. Because you'll know if you got trouble brewing in your cases or your top end or anything. Even if you don't hear it but by looking at your filter, your magnetic drain plug, etc. You'll know. That goes without saying. Especially if you look at, at at those things and like, oh, you know, this seems like an unusual amount. Well, I can make a comparison to the amount of material that I found at that initial ride to this 100 mile ride. And what I will do is I will go ahead and do a 1,000 mile oil change after that. 100 miles and I'll continue to break it in but I'll start getting on it a little bit more probably not fully holding it at highway speed for any time that I feel like for my ride but I'll start feeling and testing my tune which will be a little different than Don't run me over, crossover person. Ugh. It'll be a little bit different conditions than what I would normally be riding it in because we're approaching the cool season where I live. They'll be harvesting this cotton soon, even though we're not in the south that is becoming a more common cash crop to, for them to do in the in this area. So I'll be looking forward to seeing the bales out here. Hopefully they do that before it gets too cold or it's dark when I'm going into the gym on my ride. The 
wind is absolutely blasting out of the north. And I'm starting to feel uncomfortable. I didn't wear my gloves that are the warmer gloves because I don't want them to get too cold. Excuse me, too warm because they're pretty overkill. Even though they're the Cycle Gear, Cycle Gear house brand, they work really effectively and they're waterproof. Well, we probably better get a wheelie in here. Let's see if we can deal with the wind and have a good wheelie. We'll find out. And I'm wearing my swishy pants. Oh yeah, it's pushing me around. Woo! Not bad, a little chasey but not the end of the world. But you gotta try to get a wheelie in, even when the conditions aren't best. Let's see if we can do all right coming back with the wheel wind at my, at my back. That's a little, little different, but it is moving me some from the side to side. You can see, oh, and then we got the crown of the road. I like to try to chase a little bit when I'm not really sure about those conditions, which probably isn't the best thing to do, but you're not at full balance and you don't end up getting pancaked. That's just at least what I do for my experience level, which isn't the best, but it's what I got. All right. So we're on our way to the gym to do some arms. Looking forward to that. I did notice that this riding jacket is a little bit tighter than when the last time I put it on in the spring, late spring time this year when it was kind of cooler and you know, it's just a testament of working hard in the gym. and I've revisited creatine monohydrate this year, and being as I'm older, I think that's really helping me recover. So that's a good deal to have, to have that in my toolbox because I was getting a little, I don't know, I was feeling myself breaking down a little bit more and having that as a recovery agent really helped me. Before I go to the gym, I'm gonna stop in over at the O'Reilly's. I'm gonna get some adhesive, I think some adhesive and maybe even a uh, magnet. I'm gonna play around with something to try to get this, uh, get this mode of logging set up. for my microphone in the front of my helmet here. And again, this is experimental. I don't know if anybody else has done this, but that's what I'm going to try. So we'll see how that goes. You'll notice because the audio, even though the audio has been pretty okay in my opinion, it's been pretty okay on this setup, but I think it's time to move on. I think the first videos, even if it's without the audio setup, is going to be taken at the track on the Jixer 1000 because I've got my adhesive uh, mount installed for the camera itself there. So we're looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to this time of year though. I don't like this this cold, but what are you gonna do? All a person can do is just uh, get a 
get a, get their place in front of the bonfire or the stove, wood stove or whatever it is, and just find a way to get cozy and and ride it out until spring or one of those warm days in this late fall or fall into winter time and do what it is that we can to survive it. In the meantime, wear your gear. Oh, I do have an update. I have an update for the S model also. I did mock up the rear wheel with the Cush Drive with the KKE Supermoto wheel. And uh, I was pretty, I was pretty impressed that it that it went on, and it doesn't seem like I have any alignment issues. My initial concern was about the about how the cush would fit together because it didn't seem like it was fully going together, and with that, I had to. I had to kind of force it together a little bit more so than I wanted to. However, that did work out. So, uh, we will be trying out that setup, and it's going to be my Swiss Army bike, so we'll see how that turns out. Meanwhile, I'm going to go get my stuff so I can get to the gym. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.